Hello again. So I'm going to show you in this video how to create a task. Okay, so tasks are the equivalent of assignments within Music First. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to a class period. Okay, and you're going to want to click, click here in the create box, the little drop down menu, go to task and create. It's going to take you to this page. So let's say we want to do a stars and stripes playing test. So stars and stripes, stripes playing test. Okay, what are we going to pick? Okay, task type. Okay, I would go down record audio. So when you click record audio for the student, that's going to show up as this button that takes you to an interface that has one of those like mic checks, and then it will allow them to record into it as opposed to just recording into some another program. It has something up that would actually record, so they don't have to try to come up with or produce another program or get an audio recorder that may not be the best quality. Um, that's typically what I like to use. I like to use this. Um, so in this description area, you can include all kinds of things. If you wanted to embed a link or embed a PDF, like um, this is how I did my Mid-State Music Tournament this year. I it embedded the, the Mid-State Music in there, put Mid-State Playing Test, and then had them all just submit it. Okay? Because that's one of the easiest ways, especially with playing tests with different parts for each one. Okay, so you set your due date. So I'll just put something to put it in there. Playing test. Um, you select your due date, which is Friday. It's this Friday at 11.59. Now, I normally set mine at 11.59 as just the default. And of course, I have students turning them in up to 11.59. Um, assigned to all the class, visible to the students. Yes, yes. Okay, what standard do I want us to focus on? I am P2. B. And this is a eighth grade one. So there we go. So then it attaches your standard just so that we can include that and show that we are teaching and assessing our standards. And then if you want it to go into the music first grade book. Okay, so this doesn't particularly matter um, because it doesn't go into um, it doesn't grade it for you. Um, it just assigns a point total for your gradebook on here. Again, your gradebook's not going to be weighted like your CMCSS one. So again, it doesn't really matter um, because you'll have to go through and individually grade these and assign your grades in PowerSchool regardless. So I normally just put, some, put the top point value on it, though, just so the students know how many points it's going to be. Um, no assessment grouping, anything like that. And create task. And that is, that's about as hard as it is. Um, so you have the option to share this in Google Classroom or share it on Remind. A great way to put it out there so the students can see it uh, more easily or quickly. Um, I normally just tell them, you know, that they know where the login is and they need to go to, to Music First and submit their playing test. So that's how to create just a um, blank playing test for something that you have assigned or told them to play or music that you have in class or that you've linked on there. And that's it.